Let me tell you what we got here. This is the uh, Sokol suit, it's, it means falcon. And uh, this suit protects me against a loss of pressure in the spaceship. If the spaceship has a leak and all the air starts leaking out of it, then uh, I would die if I was just wearing regular clothes. You know, I, my blood would boil, I wouldn't be able to breathe. And so this keeps a bubble of air around me. I just climbed in through uh, a hole. Now we're gonna seal this hole up, and make it nice and tight, and then when I close my visor, I'm basically inside a small personal pressurized bubble. Picture that we've had a, a fire on the space station. So the atmosphere is really bad. And so we get into the Soyuz and we close the hatch. If the atmosphere inside the Soyuz is also really smoky, then you would have to get into this thing as quick as you could because you wouldn't be breathing very well. And then eventually, you're going to be able to plug yourself into this oxygen supply so that you have pure oxygen to breathe. And that takes, we think, about 20 minutes, half an hour, from detection of problem to where you're plugged into the Soyuz oxygen and safely protected from the smoke. I want to do this part really well because this is the seal that, uh, that keeps you alive. And on the ground, we have a big team of people that help us do this. But of course, when you get to orbit and before you come home from space, uh, you've got to do this all yourself. So you don't want to mess this part up. And uh, one of the very first crews that went to space from Russia in the Soyuz, they had a leak and they weren't wearing a suit like this. They didn't think they needed it back then. They opened up the hatch and the three guys inside were dead. And so ever since then, we've worn these suits and uh, you want to do this part right. I don't want to be one of those guys.